Greetings viewers, Eric the Car Guy here, also known as ETCG1 when posting videos to this channel. Thanks for tuning in and hey, if it's your birthday, happy birthday. Yes, we're still doing that with cake. On to the topic at hand, which is the weaponization of the vehicle fleet of the future. It's kind of scary to think about, right? What do I mean when I say that? Well, a lot of you brought up in comments the other videos I've done on similar topics about how newer vehicles have the potential to be hacked into and taken over. So you could be driving down the road, somebody, some nefarious person could uh, hack into that system and basically take it over or cause it to do things uh, as you're giving it input that uh, are completely opposite. For instance, electric power steering, um, well, well drive-by-wire power steering, uh, be more specific. You turn the wheel one way and the vehicle actually goes the other way. Mm, could be a very dangerous situation for sure. And this discussion sort of stems from a conversation that I had at a, a recent meetup that we had in Venice Beach, California, uh, late October 2018 on our road to SEMA. And I got a chance to talk to a professor there that, that that's the topic of the, of the class that he taught, which was, you know, how to hack things, how to hack vehicle fleets in particular. And it was a very interesting conversation. I'm all for the connectivity and the convenience and things that electronics are giving us in the, in the future, the bright, shiny future that it's affording us right now. Uh, however, I'm, I'm cautious. I'm cautious about, you know, what us moving forward into something that, uh, well, I, I'd rather I'd rather try to think through some of the problems before we get there than have to deal with, you know, stuff we hadn't thought of. And guys like this professor that I talked to are trying to think these things through to try to, you know, patch up the holes, so to speak. It kind of goes beyond that. Now, another thing besides taking a vehicle over that he brought up that, that got me really thinking was that there is a possibility through electric vehicles that, uh, say for instance, here's a hypothetical. You get a, a large electric fleet and they're all plugged into charging stations or homes or what have you. Well, these vehicles are monitoring the state of charge so they know when they're fully charged and then they turn the charging station off. Well, one of the things that was brought up in the conversation was what if uh, you were able to hack into that and you could turn the uh, charging station on and off at will over a large scale. So in other words, you got thousands of vehicles that are plugged in and you suddenly start turning them all on and off simultaneously. Well, this puts a, a big strain on the electric grid, if, if not brings it down entirely. So that's another scary thought. So this affects more than just, you know, people on the road, things like that. It's the ability to possibly take down an entire electrical grid uh, just through, you know, programming, computer programming, just hacking into something. I don't want to be one of those people that says uh, the future is is full of darkness. <laughs> you know, Skynet's going to take over and who knows, it just might. But the point is, is I don't want to be pessimistic about the future. I want to be optimistic. I want to think that people like my friend that I was talking to at the meetup uh, are, are going to help guide us in a, in, to this future. But if we don't start thinking about it and we don't start talking about it and we aren't aware of it, then we're caught off guard. And that's my concern. And that's the reason why I'd like to bring up this discussion to you, the group, and that, uh, you know, maybe you know of some other way that vehicles could be hacked into or like uh, this professor that I talked to, you know, brought up about taking down an electrical grid. I guess I'm kicking this out to you, the discussion, uh, you, the group. Uh, what are your thoughts on this? What are your possible scenarios even, you know, what do you foresee as a potential weakness in the vehicle fleet of the future? Or, or have you hacked into things? Have you hacked into vehicles and, and been successful with it? And if you did, what system did you attack and why? And or, like I said, if you, if you just think in something like this through, what potential do you see out there for the weaponization of the vehicle fleet of the future? I'm very curious to get your thoughts on this and, and just to get this discussion going, because I, I, I think it's a real concern. I think it's something that we need to address before there's a problem, at least as much as possible. If you have automotive questions not covered in this video, because I didn't answer one automotive question in this video at all, and you need help. EricTheCarGuy.com will be linked down in the description, and that's where I ask that you go. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and do all those things that help make a living, including ringing the bell for notifications and all that kind of thing. Really appreciate that. Be safe, have fun, stay dirty. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.